I have a story and my story is one of grace and vulnerability because others have given me grace in times when I was very vulnerable. So I was 16 years old when I found out I had multiple sclerosis. I went from numbness to then not being able to walk and, and that started our MS adventure. Most people are diagnosed when they're 25 to 40 and um, two to three times the number of women have MS than men. Um, and so when I was diagnosed, it was really rare. And as you can imagine, my doctors you know, thought there were a number of things that could, I could have. And it was almost like we just have to disqualify everything that you're, you don't have. So a lot of people don't know what multiple sclerosis is, um, but MS is um, an autoimmune disease that affects the central nervous system, so your brain and your spinal cord, and that means it can interrupt the messages that are supposed to get from point A to point B. So for instance, um, MS, multiple sclerosis means multiple, many, sclerosis means scars. And people who have MS have scars in their brain and their spinal cord. I've been really blessed in the sense of research and medical advances, and so for instance, when I was diagnosed with MS in 2006, there were about five medications that I was given to choose from. All were injections or very risky infusions. And when you're 16, the last thing you wanna do is go into um, you know, a hospital and have an infusion every couple weeks. Um, so I chose a series of shots every night for 10 years. Now I'm able to have infusions twice a year. Um, so I don't have to take a shot every night. I don't have to take a handful of pills. Um, so I've just seen the progression um, of how close we are to a cure. And so I just think that for me, for this life, this is what I'm supposed to do. But everybody has their thing and this is just my thing. And so I feel really called to stand up for those maybe who physically can't stand up for themselves. So I think that this whole process of living with this chronic illness um, and being blessed with a great support system and community here um, in Northwest Arkansas, I have found so much love and hope. If somebody were to be diagnosed today, I would say, you've got this. Um, that's what everyone should know when they wake up in the morning. Um, no matter if they're living through a diagnosis or just a really rough time, you've got this. You're gonna come out on the, on the other side and there's light. There's so much light and goodness and hope.